Hi, Els here, and today I'm going to introduce you to long-lived assets. You already know that assets must have future economic benefit. That means they're going to be benefiting the company in some way, shape, or form well into the future. The benefit of long-lived assets, also called capital assets or fixed assets, is that they'll be used in the operation of the business to help that business generate revenue. For example, a truck can be used for many years to deliver products to customers. The issue with long-lived assets is that when we use them, we need to recognize the cost of that use. Long-lived assets start out on the balance sheet as an asset, but through use, they move over to the income statement as an expense. Remember that an expense is something that has been used, consumed, or incurred to help generate revenue. Using our long-lived assets in the operation of the business will often result in the recognition of an expense, although even that's not always true. That's because long-lived assets are made up of different types of assets, such as property, plant, and equipment, but also intangible assets. Just so you know, intangible assets have no physical substance, like a patent or a copyright for a song. In this series of videos, we'll be answering the following questions. One. How do we calculate the cost of purchasing long-lived assets? 2. What is depreciation, also called amortization, and how is it calculated? 3. How do we record the disposal or sale of a long-lived asset? 4. What are the basic rules for recording intangibles, such as a patent? And finally, 5. How are long-lived assets reported on the financial statements? Okay, let's get started.